that's now recording. So well, okay. everyone, welcome back to the Mental Health Podcast. I am joined with George from the George Perspective Pod. How you doing, mate? I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm all right. I'm good. So me and George have obviously worked on a video back last year, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, last year. Or, obviously, to do with your podcast as well, just to spread the message about mental health. Indeed. We've been mates for quite a while now, haven't we, really? Mm-hmm. For about a year. Yeah, it's about a year. Cause it's I can't remember how we met. How did we meet? On Twitter. I was, when I was looking to guess my podcast, and we started talking then. Oh, shit. Yeah, I can't even remember. And obviously, you introduced me to Christian. Yes. I've been yes, on his Christian podcast. Ricky. He's a legend, he is. Yes, he's, he's a very, very good podcaster. He's a legend. Something great. Legend. So yeah, we're going to be talking about what everyone can do to help people with mental health and then what the government and schools could do to help in class or in school or whatever. So have you got any information you want to give on how people in the public can help with mental Probably, health? Well, I, meant to, um, I know you, you sent me a petition um, the other day. And yeah. Obviously, I signed that, and I completely agree with it. It's the fact that schools should have a mental health as a compulsory lesson. Like, oh, yeah, they should. I think they could either do it as, in like a bio, biology lesson, or they could yeah. do it as like a life skills lesson. Because we did life skills in so like every mm-hmm. two weeks, I think we did an hour of life skills, but we never learned about any important stuff. We just learned about it's like typical how yeah. to get a job like it, kind of thing. I, like, I would have loved it if back when I was in school, whether we had some proper education that people have nowadays. I mean, I know it's not so much in schools, but the knowledge people now have about mental health because people oh, yeah. are more open about how they feel, it's it's massive. I would have, I would have liked to have that yeah. education I, yeah. 10 years ago. I think they should like start learning about it in like, primary school kind of thing because then when like year like when they're like seven or eight because then when when they grow up and they start to feel a bit depressed yeah. or whatever mm-hmm. they're gonna know right i know what to do i know i need to speak to someone and it'll be drilled in their head to go and speak to someone but now it's more no one people who are depressed and everything they don't want to talk no and that's like the main problem especially male you know all the stats about um, male suicide. Yeah, it's one of, the, one of the biggest killers, isn't it? General so, men just yeah. don't want to talk about it. It's one of the biggest killers for men, which is, is upsetting. I think it's one of them. Yeah, I think it's for, for young adults. It's the second biggest. Mm. I don't know what the first one is, but especially it makes it worse. Because it's such a silent killer. You don't know it. Of course, yeah. Yeah, you, you you don't know if it's gonna go that way. You, you don't even know if someone's depressed or not. See, I, I think schools need to help in that department. Schools could do loads of things, to be honest. Because, not going to lie, schools are crap. They don't care. Not. They don't care about you. They just care about getting the grades to get their school better with Ofsted. That's all they care about. Yeah, that, I completely agree with that. I, I had an experience of that when I was in school. Uh, yeah. With them not wanting me to put me up to a certain... Um, doing the higher tier just because if I did the lo- um, the lower tier, it would guarantee you that I'd get the C grade. Yeah. And we'd go on the, that's, that's, yeah, that's all I care about. Yeah. It's stupid. Sch- schools just need to be changed completely, to be honest. What about a workplace? Uh, do you feel that there should be a designated like, mental health ambassador in a, every workplace so someone can go to them if they need to if they oh yeah I think, so. I think all all bosses or owners should do like a like a um, like an exam kind of thing so that yeah. they know how to deal with mental health everything because okay, some people yeah. some people need time off work like a few yes, weeks or... a month even yeah. because work work can Work can kill people, to be honest. Work can be bad. Especially, depends what industry you're in, but I was in the manufacturing yeah. industry. And that was 
difficult that was. Not difficult as in the sense of I was struggling to do everything. Just struggling but, to yeah. the fact that mentally it was terrifying. And it took it took my boss quite a while to understand. Everyone everyone in the workplace understood. It was just more the boss. He didn't understand a single thing. So I think the need, in workplaces there need to be like lessons for the bosses and everything to understand what's I mean, going on. Were they an, an older boss? Because it, it seems that at the moment, well, maybe a couple of years ago, but it's more the, the older bosses that wouldn't necessarily understand. Oh, it was mid-40s, I think. So, uh, after a while, yeah, though, he did... You get a lot of... He became all right after a while. Yeah. He kind of understood it. But for the first couple of months, it was hell. But yeah, I, I think work should try and understand the the mental health side of working. I definitely, yeah, I definitely think so. It's, as you said, it's a silent killer, especially, as we said, for men under, men under 40. Oh, yeah. So all these... I was watching... Um, was it do you know Jack Mates Happy Hour? Yes. I was watching Raymond Kemp on there, and he's doing a documentary on BBC about mm-hmm. like 13 or 14 year olds committing suicide about 13 14 yeah like committing suicide they've got the life all ahead of them um, yeah, I haven't seen that episode yet but I know that um, Roman's best mate um, yeah, died, he, didn't he? yeah he killed himself last year unfortunately yeah and he, even he said that if he put all of his mates in a line that'll be the last person he expected to be Suffering yeah. from mental health, but it just goes to show, doesn't it? First of all, yeah, it's, it's more than often the case that it's the people that externally are happy that yeah. actually internally are the ones that are struggling the most. You're expecting what? Well, what was it? There was a saying. It was like if if that's the person you least expect to be depressed or low or suffering. That's mm-hmm. probably the person who is suffering. Yeah. I think that's a saying that I heard some I can't remember I heard it now. But it's true. Yeah. Every, everyone's gonna be suffering from mental health once in their life. But yeah. There just needs to be more help. The government could do loads, but again, they don't really give a shit. It's all up to it's all up to the people, the public. It is, well, Let's hope that your petition goes somewhere and then gets enough signatures to actually be... Hopefully, yeah. That, that's going to be in the description anyway. Back. Yeah. And so then you, all, all your links and everything is going to be in the descriptions. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, hopefully people will sign the petition. To The petition's pretty much about making mental health a compulsory lesson, whether that's being in a biology lesson or... Mm-hmm. In the sort of every two weeks to like a life skills things. Hopefully, that gets enough. It, it needs 10,000 uh, signatures to go through to the government for them to read it. So. Yeah, and then is it 100,000 for it to be considered for debate? I don't know. I didn't read that far. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think it's that much, which is, is a lot, but there's no reason why it can't. No, no, it's, everything's possible. Yeah. So, what do you reckon people? In the streets, if they see someone who's acting a bit, not well, not funny, but acting a bit weird, like cry, not weird, wrong word, but like crying and everything, like, you can see so much trouble in them. Obviously, I've, I've seen it in town before where people just walk past them and everything. Yeah, I, I can notice that a lot, that a lot of people will walk past it. It depends on the scenario, because some people don't want although they're obviously showing they want help because they're crying they if you go up to them oh yeah someone uh, will push you away yeah. someone will push you push you away so i think in some ways i think that's probably why some people don't bother yeah don't get help people but of course i think if someone's crying you should go over check if they're okay and as the saying goes ask twice yeah, are you okay? And then they have to say, yeah. Then literally have a conversation with them. Then ask yeah. them, are you okay again? And then they're they're more than likely going to be open to you. 
because they're not going to expect a second mm. are you okay and then the brain is not ready for it yeah yeah what a lot think? a lot of work needs to be done in the public to be honest it's it's upsetting it's absolutely terrifying that all these 13 or 14 year olds are unfortunately killing themselves and everything so, yeah. I think social media doesn't help with oh no don't people's yeah. mental health and in some sense school stress doesn't help because the amount of exams are on nowadays just oh yeah sort of, they have to pass to succeed otherwise they're not going to go anywhere which isn't true no no you can go to university without any fucking any degrees i'm at open yeah. university you yeah. get the same qualifications the same degrees you just don't need any qualifications to get into it yeah so yeah it, yeah it is better to push GCSEs, but it's literally not the end of the world no nowadays uh, employees don't care about results you just you just see results i find you get some of this okay you may need a c or a d but then there's other methods that there's oh yeah after school you can yeah. do more exams. It's when i was doing my apprentice- get- yeah when i was doing my apprenticeship we had yeah. two guys come in to they needed one more welder mm-hmm. one guy came in with literally all the qualifications from college yeah, and, they, and then one guy came in with no qualifications, just with about twenty five years of experience. Yeah, and the guy with the experience got the job because he can weld better than the person yeah. who had all the qualifications. So it, it depends what industry you're going in, but most of the time uh, it don't it, it, it don't really matter. No. And even if you do fail, you can do nine classes or anything. Yeah, there's, so, there's always another way. So yeah, I, I think school needs to re- reduce the the stress. On, on students or when it's exam times get like a counsellor in the summer to help people with stress I think in general not just in exam season oh yeah there should always be but of course in general exam season is where where there are more spikes of oh yeah people struggling yeah it's also bullies as well that's probably one of the main reasons in school as well yeah (laughs) And we've all been bullied. Mm. Everyone's been bullied in the life. And again, the school's always saying, tell the teacher and we'll sort it. They don't even sort yeah, they it. never do. As soon as you tell the teacher, that bully then knows it's affecting you and he'll just carry on. Yeah. A lot of time, a lot of time when she said that, actually makes it worse. If you tell oh, yeah, the teacher. it does. Yes. Yeah. And there's just nothing you can do about it because if you whack them, then you get done for it. Which is stupid because yeah, it's is. defending yourself. I got, but, I got kicked out of school for that. Yeah, that doesn't doesn't make sense to me when if someone's provoking you and you retaliate. It's yeah. natural instinct to retaliate. It, it, this whole country needs a rebuild. <laughs> yep, I could I could talk to this about for hours. Schools, schools especially, workplaces, yeah. and the government need to do so much more to build a safe environment for everyone, whether that be in mental health or making the streets safe. Yeah, they need to do so much, but they don't care. No, not at all. It's well, stupid. Some will, but. It seems that the ones higher up don't. That's, oh, yeah. that's more. That's the problem. What about these charity? It will get better one day because yeah. it will. It will all just kick off. Everything. They'll be like, oh, I guarantee the protests in London soon regarding mental health. It wouldn't surprise me. There's, especially then. There's always protests for. Good causes all the time. And oh, yeah. And a lot of the time, action gets taken positively. I mean, that's yeah. obviously mm-hmm. lately with the Sarah Everard thing, there's yeah. been negative things. But 
hopefully in the future from that, something positive will come from it. Yeah, I think yeah. Boris Johnson put on Facebook or Twitter saying he's having a meeting soon. Yeah. Where he's going to be talking about putting CCTV cameras on every and every street, mm. making the lights go on for longer. And in my head, I was just thinking, that's how it should have been anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so it should be anyway. And that, you have a lot of opposition to that at the same time, though, which I understand, but at the same time, safety is paramount. Oh, yeah. So You're not going to get rid of what happened. No. So it'll, it'll, it'll never go, but... Hopefully, it can be at least a little bit safer. Well, no. If if that if doing that can save one life. Oh yeah, then it's worked. Or save, or save one person from being sexually assaulted. Oh, yeah, then it has worked. Perfect. So. Yeah, but there just needs to be so much more done for not just mental health for mm. everyone. They need to like make the sentences tougher. Because the prison sentences are terrible. Oh, then, you can, yeah. But, you can be arrested for 10 years, get out in four, on good behaviour. If if that, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Six months, sometimes. You, you can have, have like an eight year prison sentence and get out in six months on parole. It is. Uh, I wonder if, um, how long the Met officer that's been uh, arrested. For the Sarah, Sarah, Sarah I, get, he gets, I bet he's not even been arrested yeah. yet. <laughs> I think he's been arrested, but yeah, I'm not sure um, how much he's been charged yet. Yeah. Or how much they're yeah. going to. But I guarantee that that will be 15 years, maybe, probably out oh, in yeah. seven, out in six. Yeah. Probably not even that because he's a, he's a copper, isn't he? He'll, he'll get he'll out. Yeah, he'll get it, it'll be safe in prison anyway. Oh, yeah. He'll, he'll get some protection. Yeah. I'm sure. Which is stupid. Happened to a girl in, who literally lives down the road. Well, mm. a few villages away from me. Yeah. Um, that happened about two, three years ago. It was mm. all over the news, if you remember it. So it's, uh, I think it was Keely. She was messaging Not a man online. Mm. She went to meet him and it turned out to be not the man she thought she was talking to and then unfortunately he raped and murdered yeah it's people like that I just it. I don't understand what goes through their head no I yeah I'm completely in agreement there it's, I can't fathom what they think sometimes drug dealers get more time than rapists and they do and I'm just there like well People ask for drugs. No one has to be raped. It's, yeah, it needs a whole reform. The it does. It's, get a sentence. it's terrible. The government needs to be... Just, it needs to do loads. And they need to listen to the public. Because I guarantee the public has better ideas than what the government does. Yeah. All, all the government gets about is making yeah. money. Unfortunately, that is true. And that's not just yeah. the Conservatives. The Labour are the same. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm not taking sides anymore. I don't. No. I just don't like any of them. <laughs> no, I was. I was only saying that because. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 They'll say something yeah. to get into power, and then they'll just not yeah, do what they say. It'll be the same thing all over again. Yeah. But <sighs> s- something will get done. Whether that being legally or illegally, yeah. some it will, some it will get a change. And if that's an yeah. illegal way, I'm I'm down for that. Yeah, I mean, as you said, it 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 may take <sighs> process. It may take may take riots. Yeah, if it if it takes twenty years time or thirty years time when my grandchildren yeah. are here or yeah. whatever, and if that makes them, and if that makes them safe then I ain't bothered yeah I'd, I'd rather have to change now obviously but yeah even if it's 30 years and as long as it's some as long as someone changes in my lifetime man 
There's small progress being made at the moment. There is small progression, um, yeah. But I don't feel it's enough at the moment. Oh, no. Dead. But hopefully, as hopefully, I said, in our yeah. lifetime. Obviously, that mental health has improved over the past decade or so. But it, yeah, it's a conversation around it has because, as we said, more people... Yeah, yeah more people are open, open up about it. Than but it's still not enough. No. Yeah. I think the what was it? I think the the rate of suicide in men have gone up drastically, but I think that's down to the lockdown as well. It has. But even then, it's it shouldn't have happened. No, it was. It said from the start that that is, this is going to be one of the factors of lockdown. Is that you're going to get? Yeah. People's mental health problems. It's yeah, and. For that reason, you can't really hate the government, I suppose, because if it didn't put us in lockdown, yeah, more people die. But, but if you put us in lockdown, people are gonna die. I think so. You can't really. People can't really blame him. No, it's it's different. Um, you know, put us in lockdown is to save people's physical health, and then yeah, by being in lockdown you're affecting people's mental health so it's, in a way they're in a lose-lose situation there but oh yeah so how, how many lessons do you reckon school should do over the week for mental health or obviously minimum i'd i'd probably actually have a subject dedicated to it so they probably have like two, i'd say minimum two a week yeah i asked someone I asked my best mate on twitter He's autistic. Mm. I'm going to get him on the podcast yeah. soon. I asked him, oh, how many lessons do you think I should be? And he said two. I said yeah. two. And then my girlfriend said two. So, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, we can get two. Yeah, I, I, I probably agree it should be a completely separate subject rather than being part of a subject. Yeah, like part of biology. Or... But even if it starts in a lesson of biology and then it slowly yeah. progresses into its own it's lesson. Yeah. So I think, I think some schools are doing like life lessons, which is good. Mm-hmm. But it should be compulsory to all, all schools. And that is why I made the petition. So if yeah. anyone watching this want to sign that, it's in the description. I need 10,000. So if 20 people watch this, just fucking sign it. Hopefully. I want to try and get some people on Twitter to share it. Yes. Get, I'll get Robbie, I'm, yeah, I'm going to try and get Robbie Knox to share it. Uh, Robbie Knox will do that. He's, he's, a, he's, Robbie. he's just a legend. I'd love to get him back on. I'm sure he would. He's, he's an absolute lad. He's, yeah, he, he's brilliant. He's it, yeah. So, yeah, it, it is upsetting to... This podcast has been a bit... I don't know how to explain it. It's been a bit iffy. Yeah. But I think it's, it's, it's a difficult topic to talk about. That's why it's been a bit... Said, of course, it's... In general, it's not something everyone's comfortable with talking about. It's still, no, no, it's not. But, yeah, I really hope soon that everything goes on the right path. Like, have you got any ideas on how the government or schools could... Just as what we've talked about, just have lessons, have some yeah. proper education about it, because I'm not at that as educated about it, but because of what's been happening in the last five, ten years, where it, more and more people were showing how they feel, so more... Yeah. It's more... Um, yeah, it's been more of the public eye about it. So oh, yeah, it has, yeah. There's more information available, and that's how I've learned stuff. But I'd rather it be from schools, yeah. from, from workplaces, that you get educated there as well, because... 
can guarantee yeah. if you're you work with 100 people probably 20 30 of them are probably struggling and there's probably yeah. i think it's one in four i think the odds are one in four i think yeah, I think it is one of them. Yeah, I think four, it's but it's there's, there's... Yeah, you just there needs to be more education. I think it definitely in workplaces. Oh yeah, so I think schools could get like a like a professor or a psychiatrist, uh, a psychologist, or a counselor, even just yeah. to come in on like a school assembly or something, just to start things off. I think that'd be a a positive way to start the new change. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Like that. So, even if it's like a 20 minute, 30 minute thing in assembly, that just get some knowledge, some information yeah. to them, and then have it just have yeah. it as a lesson. That's that's something that I think they need to do. Or even get this, this is going to sound a bit depressing, but obviously, a lot of suicide survivors now talk about. What yeah. went on and why they decided not to do it, or why they thought like they survived, everything. Just get That's... them into school and get them to speak about their problems. Obviously, it's going to make most of the children cry, but it will make them realize. Yeah, I, I think that anything is more impactful, though. It's oh, yeah, from the more impactful, the better. Yeah, like there was, um. I don't know if you've seen it though, but it was on, it was like a TED talk um, a few years ago about this. Um, this man in America was saying that, you know, he could have been the next school shooter. I, I think I've, I think I've watched some on, I don't think the one you're on about, but I've watched some on Netflix, similar. Yeah. So, there's know, a book he, about it as well, isn't there? I think so, yeah. Yeah, but no, yeah that was, that's a really good, um, we talk how he said you know he's obviously managed to not go through with it but yeah he was saying yeah. he was struggling he could have been the next yeah next stand up or just which luckily he didn't yeah so but that, that's yeah it definitely sh- should it would be more impactful if we yeah. said if it was from someone who's directly experienced because yeah, i want to when I'm a qualified sort of counsellor, yeah, I want to. I, I want to do. Oh, even before that, I want to do mm-hmm. school speeches. What's the what's the word? Mm-hmm. When you go and talk to us to a class. Oh, what's it called? Anyway, yeah, one of them. Yeah, I know. What you mean, yeah. I can't come up with a word for it now. It's not a seminar, is it? It's similar. Yeah, it's, really, it's really annoying me now. Anyway, yeah, I want to do that. I want to travel around the country and hopefully do that. And also, you, you see a lot on fa- change the topic now, but a lot on Facebook and Twitter about uh, like drug addictions and people surviving them. And then all the comments were saying, "Oh, he don't deserve help. It was his choice to do drugs." I was like, "Well, you're the reason why yeah. he's probably done drugs in the first place." Let's get a grip. Jesus. So yeah, pe- pe- people don't do drugs because, well, some of them do, but majority of people do, who do drugs don't decide one day and think, oh, you know, well, I might try and do, I might try drugs today. Yeah. It's probably it's it's easier to get drugs than it's to to get help. That's probably which why is they, ridiculous. Yeah, which is why people do drugs. Right? Just because someone's a drug addict, or an extra bit it doesn't mean they don't deserve any help which is what yeah. people don't understand it's terrible this podcast has been a bit of a weird one it has mate yeah yeah sorry about that have you got anything else you wanna no I was add on not from one of what we've said no just no oh. need Something needs to be done. That's... It does, yeah. That ain't even add that not the title of this podcast. No. <laughs> uh, been a I'm difficult sure one. Yeah, it's... that's been a difficult well, one. Any any topics surrounding the topic? Yeah. Really 
Yeah, yeah. I had a backbone in my head to try and figure out a mm. word all this, but once you become, once you try and say everything that's on your mind, it becomes really. It does, yeah. Difficult, especially I've ne- I've never done a topic or a conversation about how people could change mm. the the world. It's yeah. been quite quite difficult to talk about. Hmm. So yeah, I hope you'll come on again, but we'll talk about something different. Of course, mate. I'll be happy to come on again. Yeah, and then I'll happily come on your podcast. Yeah. Even though we've been planning well, that for when, the past year, start. George. We've been planning that for the past year, mate. Yeah. I'm still waiting for the diss track. This track? Yeah, you told me that... Um... You know, if I don't get you on, you, you drop, you drop. Oh yeah, I will, mate. I will. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give it three weeks. Yeah, as soon as, soon as uh, me and my co start recording yeah. again, we'll, um, we'll get look for some guests. So we're more than happy to have you on. I'm down for that. Yeah. I think Christy wants me back on again. Yeah, should be cool. I, I was going to get him on last week, but mm. my mind was all over the place. I couldn't do anything. Yeah. That's why there's not really been any uploads for the past week or mm. two. Mine's been everywhere. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. Anyway, everyone, go check out George in the in the description. Check out his. You're on Spotify, aren't you? Uh, only one episode on Spotify at the moment because we're trying to uh, gradually start uploading stuff. But yeah, yeah. Main at the moment it's just on YouTube. Oh uh, yeah. Well, you you have Anchor, aren't you? Yes. I can just link you. I'll link your YouTube and your Anchor then. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, and your Twitter, obviously. Yeah, thank yeah. you very uh, much, George. Everyone as well. I'm going to say everyone's signed petition for. Oh yeah, everyone please sign. Your... Cheers for a moment. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. So, yeah, everyone please sign the petition. Yeah. Hopefully, we can get to ten thousand signatures, and hopefully, make a change. If not, I'll storm ten Downing Street, and I'll probably will do that. <laughs> I'm sure you get a lot of support as well. Um, I'll tell you something. If nothing changed by the end of this year, I'm going to make a Facebook group called Storming 10 Downing Street. Mark my word, I'm, I'm going to do that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Check out George in the description. And I will thank see you. everyone soon. Thanks. Oh, God, what have I done? How do you pause? How do you stop? Oh, there. <laughs>